cyber hazards students today we will learn about some cyber hazards how many of you know how to write an email very good let us now talk about the problems related to email let us learn about spam can anyone tell me what spam is spam contains unimportant and unwanted messages sent over the internet to a lot of users for advertising or fraudulent activities you are right let's see how a spam can harm us usually there are a lot of emails that are marked as spam by the email providers in fact spam may account for as much as 95% of all email on the internet ma'am how do spammers get access to our mailbox spammers get email addresses from news groups and web service providers sometimes they get email addresses well that explains the numerous requests that i get for joining various forums but how do we fight such spammers isn't there any kind of anti spam software that can help us prevent such spam messages yes there are many anti spam software available online you can also simply ignore such spams in case you have opened a spam message immediately delete it from your inbox generally spams are gathered in the spam folder so you don't have to worry much about them ma'am are spams same as email viruses no although they are related they are not the same spams are usually not as harmful as viruses These are some examples of harmful viruses that could damage your computer. An email virus is a computer code sent as an email note attachment which if clicked will cause some damage to files on the hard disk or remail the attachment to everyone in the person's address book. Malware consists of several computer viruses, worms, spyware, adware and other malicious programs. Usually it is sent to recipients in the form of code, script, link, etc. Now let's turn our attention to a common email fraud, hacking. Does anyone know what hacking is? Hacking is unlicensed access to information in a computer system or network. Excellent. Hacking is much more dangerous than it sounds. Hackers can even break into systems or networks which are password protected. What would you do if you receive a mail from someone you know and trust asking for your credit card details or other such personal information? I will not reply to such an email and call the person directly. Very good. Often in what is known as email spoofing, an attacker sends an email posing to be someone you know. Spoofing may also appear to occur from a legitimate site. But ma'am, how do we distinguish between a spoof and a real message from someone we know? That is tricky. You will have to exercise discretion in such cases. You need to think why would your friend mail to ask for your bank details? Is there any other kind of hacking, ma'am? Yes. Phishing emails have become an instrument of frauds and they are very tough to trace. Phishing emails look very real and often show graphics and logos that are actually from the bank. There may be a link that redirects to the bank's website, but one must never reply to such emails or disclose any personal information. That was all for today. Stay alert, stay safe.